A friend's father just died recently at the ripe old age of 87. The old man had been battling a disease for more than 20 years. And it had been very difficult during the last two years as his condition deteriorated very quickly, eventually leading to his death. For those who had been taking care of him, it had been a very long fight. The grief is still there. He was deeply loved and he will be missed. And yet there is a sense of relief that finally the battle is over. Panahon na niya at madali na rin tanggapin. I imagine it would have been difficult to accept if the man who died was in his 20s or 30s. That is simply too young an age to die. Or if the man died in his 50s or 60s, he would have been in his prime at the height of his career and influence. And so, so many things would have depended on him. Death at such an age would have been very difficult to accept. But when a man dies in his late 80s and 90s, uh, especially if he passes on uh, way past his 100th birthday, death is much easier to accept. A man would have lived a full life by then. Every day past the age of 80 is already a bonus. Uh, many people at this age are ready to go. We all understand that life and death are a natural part of life. We all celebrate life in full view of the fact that all of us will have to face death. Death, after all, is a limitation that God has placed on the life of a human being as a result of sin. And very early on, even when humanity began with, with Adam and Eve, God had already given these limits to life. In the book of Genesis, God himself said to Adam and Eve, By the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for you were dust, and to dust you shall return. This is the truth. We will all return to dust. For we were created out of the dust of the ground and into dust we will eventually return. We, we can always pray for healing for an elderly person who's struggling for life. We can employ all the best doctors to extend the life of an old man who's in the, in the pre-departure area, so to speak. But when it is a person's time to go, no medical procedure and no amount of prayer can keep a person alive. From dust, man was created. To dust, he will return. It is certain. And so sometimes the best we can ever do for a dying old person is to make it as pain-free as possible, without any discomfort, and, and surround him with the people he loves. They need to be prepared spiritually, for while the physical body will return to dust, the spirit will return to God who gave him life. They need to hear the assurance that in Christ, there is life still beyond death. And when Jesus eventually returns to the world, there will be a resurrection of the dead. And so from dust, the dead in Christ will take on new glorified bodies. And this is a blessed hope that we all wait for. As we learn to accept the truth that all of us will eventually return to dust, even as we anticipate with joy the blessed hope that in Christ we will be resurrected, please always remember, faith matters too.